Now we have seen that there are two mechanisms with which we can have uh, a change in the energy, mean energy of the system. It's either through um, thermal interaction where we have heat exchange or adiabatic interaction where there is work done on the system or by the system. Okay, so we can basically summarize these two results in a single equation. The change in the mean energy of the system, delta E bar, is equal to the work done on the system plus the heat added to the system. So this is in the presence of both types of interaction where we have work done on the system and heat uh, added to the system. So let's see, let's clarify what is W here. W is because I'm looking for an increase in the mean energy of the system. It is work done on the system. And the second term, uh, Q, will be the heat absorbed by the system. So it's the amount of energy, kinetic energy transfer I have across the boundaries of the system. Uh, due to collisions with the surrounding uh, particles uh, coming from the uh, system A prime. So this result, uh, the mean energy change is achieved either through work or heat, is called first law of thermodynamics. So this won't fit here. Let's put it down here. First law of thermodynamics. Now, <clears throat> there will be a similar change in the mean energy of system A prime that A is interacting with. Delta E prime, we can also write as work done on A prime plus heat absorbed or heat added to A prime. Now this W and Q that are measuring a change in the energy of the system are uh, expressed in joules in SI units. And also for uh, heat, there is another unit we use frequently, that's calories. And the conversion between calories and joules is that one calorie is equal to 4.184 joules. This was shown uh, by using the experiment of joule, mechanical equivalent of heat. Uh, one calorie is 4.184 joules. Okay, so we need to be aware of which units we are doing calculations with. Now, uh, if I look at the infinitesimal uh, limit, so if I take this equation, uh, first law of thermodynamics equation here, and I take the infinitesimal limit, so if there's a small change in the mean energy of system A, it will be due to small work done on the system and small heat added to the system. Now you're going to notice here that I have used a different sign for the differentials for work and heat. Now, uh, I want to write this equation uh, in words. Okay, so let's see what it, this equation is saying. Uh, change, or let's say infinitesimal change, infinitesimal increase in the mean energy that's what the left hand side is saying is equal to uh, infinitesimal amount of
energy transferred energy transferred uh, by work done on the system uh, and the next term is the same thing infinitesimal amount of energy transfer uh, by heat absorbed by the system so this infinitesimal amount of uh, energy transferred by heat absorbed on, on the system so what I would like to highlight here is that uh, when we talk about a change in the mean energy of the system we're talking about a change in the state of the system so uh, we classify thermodynamic variables as state variables and transfer variables energy is a state variable so when we say infinitesimal change in the energy of the system that means dE is equal to uh, E bar final minus E bar initial but when we say uh, dW equals uh, W final minus W initial or dQ is equal to Q final minus Q initial these two equations are uh, meaningless these would be meaningless and why are they meaningless because um, work and heat are not state variables work and heat are transfer variables they are describing energy transferred in the form of heat and work so when we say d bar w it's small amount of energy transferred uh, by work done on the system or d bar q small amount of energy transferred by heat added to the system okay so uh, this, the meaning of the differential is different for state variables and transfer variables uh, for transfer variables there is no such thing as final work and initial work because work is not a state variable there is not a work corresponding to the final state and a work corresponding to the initial state and similarly for heat there is not a, a final heat corresponding to the final state initial heat corresponding to the initial state it's just a small amount of energy transferred in the form of heat so uh, by using the statistical definition of mean value of energy recall that i have to go through all possible states calculate their probabilities and multiply it by their corresponding energies this is for our uh, calculation of the mean value of energy now if it's also a quasi static uh, process that we are performing uh, and so that we're going to have a small change a small slow change in the uh, energy of the system uh, this is going to be equal to sum over r all possible states probability of uh, having a state r with der change in the energy of that state and energy of uh, a state r with a change in the probability of occupancy of that state so this basically uh, equation when you compare it to the to this equation so we have two uh, similar equations here so i want to compare this one with this one and i noticed that i could say uh, sum over r so for d bar w where i have the external parameters changing so that the energy levels change is sum over r all possible states uh, 
probability R D E R and for uh, the small infinitesimal amount of heat added I can say sum over all states energy levels fixed probability of occupancy changing DPR so this is going to work only if I do it in the quasi-static uh, process where I have uh, a small change in the variables and equilibrium is not disturbed throughout the process. All right, so that is saying you have uh, ex some external parameters changing probability fixed probability is fixed no change in external parameters so that we have energy levels fixed So this basically mathematically shows us uh, the results that we have uh, discussed before. When you have a purely adiabatic interaction where there is no heat uh, added to the system, you, uh, in the quasi-static uh, limit you will have no change in the uh, probability of occupancy of energy levels, but the energy levels will change. Uh, so this corresponds to um, adiabatic quasi-static process adiabatic quasi-static process and uh, here I have uh, for d bar q uh, no change in the energy levels but the probability uh, levels uh, the probability of occupancy will change this is a basically thermal interaction process in the quasi-static limit.